The subject of this Irish folklore video was chosen by my patrons on Patreon. You can help vote to decide what kind of content I make by signing up for as little as one dollar a month. I'm Hog, this is The Dice, and as you may have guessed from the last story video, this time we're going to be talking about Dao. We are the sons of Down, king of the dead, at the red tower of the dead. We ride the horses of Down, although we are alive, we are dead. The word down basically means brown. It can also mean darkness. Now there's a few different ways of pronouncing the word. In Ulster Irish, it's pronounced Don, as in the Don Cooley from the Tall. In Connacht Irish, it's pronounced Don, as in not really anything. And in Munster Irish, it's pronounced Down. And seeing as Down is a figure most prominently associated with Ulster, we'll be using the Munster pronunciation. Down is a very strange King of the Dead for several reasons. Dohi O'Hogan described Down as an ancestor of those who die. Because Down, unlike most of the other godlike figures in Irish myth and legend, wasn't one of the immortal Tua de Dan. Instead, he was one of the Milesians, the race that most modern Irish people would be descended from, and the first of the Milesians to die in Ireland. Some versions of the story say that Down insulted Eru, one of the sovereignty spirits of Ireland, when she met with the Milesians, welcoming them to Ireland, and promised that they would have victory over the Tua de Danann, as long as they promised to name the land after her. Not to her do we give thanks for it, but to our gods and to our power. Other versions of the story say that the impatience and arrogance that Down showed after he and the other Milesians had gone back over nine waves from Ireland before making their attack on the Tua de Danon that sealed his fate. It is treachery our knowledgeable men are doing on us not to put down this wind. Either way, Down's ship sank, and he ended up dying on the shores of an island off the coast of Kerry called Chuck Din, which means the House of Down, though that island is now known as Bull Rock. Before he died on Chuck Din, he said the following. To me, to my house, you shall all come after your death. And so he became the King of the Dead. But Down wasn't just limited to Chuck Din. He had other homes as well, such as the sand dunes of Dune Beg in County Clare, where he was known as Down Ducha, or Knockfearna Hill in County Limerick, where he was known as Down Fearna. In all locations, Down carries the motif of the Phantom Rider leading a company of horsemen across the sky upon the back of his own white horse, searching for captives. When storm clouds would gather over the hill of Nakfirna, people would say that that was Down gathering his riders for the hunt. In one story, Down came to a terrified blacksmith, asking to have his horse reshoed. He pulled the leg off his horse, handed it to the blacksmith, and in horror, the blacksmith hammered the new shoe on and gave the leg back to Down, who casually reattached it and rode up. The poet Andreas McCritchin, in one of his poems, offered to groom the phantom steeds of Down. The phantom rider motif is common in folklore throughout the province of Munster. 
and there are similar stories told about Ross O'Donoghue from County Kerry and Garod Erla from County Limerick, which I'll be covering in future videos. All of this is, of course, very reminiscent of the Norse god Odin, and that makes sense as many towns and cities in the province of Munster were founded by Viking settlers. In Limerick, it was said that the dead would join down in his palace under Nochfirna Hill. But as the area became Christianized, this belief shifted. Instead of gathering the dead, it was sometimes said that down kidnapped the living. It was especially said that sometimes he would kidnap hurlers, particularly skilled hurlers, so that he would have an advantage in his hurling matches against other other world kings. But the belief in down gathering the dead didn't completely die out under Christianity. The folklore collector Liam O'Danacher who was active in Limerick in the 1890s, wrote the following. Old Clifford was a profound believer in fairies. I had a chat with him the day before he died, just after the priest had his last interview with him. He looked through the low open window at Nochferna, and he told me he would be up there soon, on the whaleback Black Hill, east of the cave where Down was supposed to marshal his men before one of his expeditions. He told me that coming back across the hill from Grana, he had heard the fairy music more than once. On my way back, I remember being struck by the stronghold that this stark paganism still held over minds, that after 50 generations of Christian baptism, it still clung to the older beliefs. Like most other world lords, Down Fierne was said to be very protective of his home of Nakfirna and would try to keep people away from the hill. However, unlike most other other world lords, he was more friendly about it. He would usually appear in person to give a warning, telling people to avoid the area if they came too close rather than just immediately striking them down with some otherworld curse. In fact, he could be friendly, like in the story I told in one of my previous videos, or another story where there were three men working in a field by Nakfirna Hill. One of them made a joke, saying that he had heard Down was friendly, and that it would be wonderful if he would bring them a nice breakfast. No sooner than he had said the words, but a woman showed up with a basket and she said the basket was full of a lovely breakfast for them that was a gift from down. The two of the men very quickly and gratefully ate as much as they could, but the one who had made the joke refused and died later that day. It's not wise to refuse the kindness of a king of the dead. Like the Kylock, Down helps to underscore the idea that death was a sad event in Irish culture, but not necessarily seen as an evil one. Down himself is often depicted as quite sombre, sometimes quite brash, but also quite genial, more of a caretaker than an evil overlord. And the idea of joining an ancient ancestor after death might suggest that death was seen as similar to returning home. A down is an unusual death figure. He is mostly a psychopomp and an overseer of the dead. He doesn't actively participate in the death process like the Kylock, and he is not associated with violent or gruesome deaths like the Morrigan or the Bive. There is another figure, loosely associated with Down, named Diarig, or Darg, which literally means red, who is associated with violent or gruesome deaths. Uh, Down and Diarig are often associated with the Dagda, 
as a kind of triple god figure. But if you saw the Maka video, you already know how I feel about the idea of triplicated deities in the Irish context. I may end up doing a video on Jarig in the future. Thank you for watching this video analyzing the figure of Dao. And also thank you to my friend Nisha Odin, who voiced the folklore collector Liam O'Danacher for me. And Nisha is a storyteller, a folklorist, and an actor, and can be hired for any of those things. I'll leave a link to his Twitter in the video description. Also a huge thank you to all of my patrons, including the mighty Ashkarp, first of her name, Keeper of the Magikarp and Empress of the Great Shiny Sea, as well as Queequeg, all of the other patrons whose names you see scrolling across the screen now, and all of my patrons in general. If you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon by, or with less money, by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Apparently you need to click that stupid bell if you want your subscription to actually count, which is annoying, but anyway. And do remember that your applause is the only way to counteract my daily chant of I don't believe in fairies.